Howdy, howdy, this is Blue Otter. We are continuing Meg Aquarium in Megalopolis, uh, where we are working on getting our whale shark. Uh, so we're going to unpause. I do see that we need some rocks in this. This is the tank that we just got our sea turtle in. Um, and someone wants some rocks. I don't know who, but we're going to give them some rocks. And... Uh, which ones do we... Oh, there's... A lot of different stuff that I believe some of this is, um... Stuff that's just been unlocked. And we are going to... Um... There's one. I think we were going to put... Yeah, this one was... It was only going to be able to go... I was only going to be able to have one of them. Um, let's look and see... As long as they don't exceed five, it is a warm weather. Warm weather. We're going to do that one. Uh, we're going to add, because we can do cold water. Not in the aquarium, we're going to do one of those. Uh, we could also add the oyster in here, uh, which wouldn't be too hard to add the oyster maybe right in here. Um, it is, it would be just be a, a small little wall tank would probably do probably do it like two by three um what we could do is we can have go here we're going to wall it off uh to try to keep people from going there um i'm actually going to wall this area off if he will move Wh why why do you have to go back there Yes, yes, go get some food and get out of my way. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this up a little bit so we can, um, so that the workers can move uh, back and forth, uh, which is going to allow us to actually remove that one piece. Uh, we're going to have... A second so we're gonna be able to connect uh, back here uh, via this and we can actually um, I'm always a fan of did I get it in time ah cut him off just in time all right so what we're going to do here is, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the oysters are actually a fresh water, so we're not going to be able to connect the oysters to, uh, we're going to pause it real quick, we're not going to be able to connect the oysters to, um, to any other tank, uh, so it is absolutely vital that we have them where they need to be so we're going to just have just like that this is 15 we're going to add i do not believe i have a our heater chiller um i do not have oh no here's the here's the combo uh, so, no, that's not the combo I wanted. This is the combo I want. Just a little small, just enough for both. I want to make sure that we've got plenty of stuff. So we have oysters. Um, they're not really going to take up much space. So what we're going to do are these. No, these are not. Um, okay, I was thinking, I was thinking the zebra. So yeah, so these are cold. So we are gonna be able um, uh, yeah, okay. 
Awesome. So yeah, we can absolutely just add them in and they're good. Uh, we're going to add a zooplankton right there. And we've got plenty of area. Um, if anything, what I want, what I could do is I could take some of this big heavy hitter stuff and move it over here. Um, in fact, what I might do at least so I don't have a lot of empty space is I'm at least going to open this up. Um, and actually if I do that, Can these get moved over? I think they can get moved over. You just wouldn't be able to access. So what I'm thinking is we move this over one, move this over one, so you'd still be able to access that. And we're just going to open this entire thing, but we're going to it be just like so and then we will uh, give the workers a door access because um, that's always critical uh, but then what I could do is I can give the guests a seat and then we need to go through and kind of fix up some of the paint. I know this is purely aesthetic. Uh, where is... This one was, there we are, Gulf of Mexico. It's the Gulf of Mexico paint and we're just going to There, we're gonna pick our next research. Um, let's do. I actually am not gonna do that one. I downloaded a mod, uh, or I installed a few mods uh, that I found that involve. Um, That, that involved um, um, adding the auto filters or the auto feeders that are available uh, in the they're available in the uh, at level 12 so while I have access to some of the lower levels of that, here's one that he's not getting along. He needs some rocks. Um, so because the the main auto feeder is not available until the last level, I am going to actually respect that and not uh, and not include that in there. This is no, he's. can do that one um i need rocks he's not happy and people are going to complain that my fish looks stressed we're going to we need rocks so we're going to do here's a new one So if you see those in there, that's why I'm not selecting those. Um, so here we have, I also, this is one that came about from the developer of, uh, the developer of Mega Aquarium actually has a couple of mods that he has added 
and one of them is involves just adding a extra layer level of uh to the orange juice machines in that you have an orange dispenser so i'm gonna go through and be adding uh, some orange dispensers so that yeah it creates a little bit more work but in the spirit of adding a little bit extra challenge here um and it's also not like i don't have the workers for it so um i am spreading them out so that that way my workers don't have to travel um it's not because they're not available it is it's merely a matter of I don't want my workers to have to travel all the way across uh, all the way across the aquarium to get an item. So what we're going to do is, um, and I am getting a little bit of lag. Oh, oh, we we need some rocks down here. Uh, as well so i wonder if that was something i i wonder if that was a mod that i threw on that i don't remember that i don't remember what i threw on uh, there was a, there was a lot of mods so this is actual rocks um i need 23 so we're gonna add some mossy rubble no we're not because that is um so first things first, we're going to do, we're going to, I, need, I should have paused this. We're gonna pause this, okay. So, I could have sworn I thought that that was gonna be, uh, but because I know that there is, there we go, and that transforms it back into a, um, into a saltwater aquarium. All right, so we are going to, because I need the biggest bang for the buck, and that is actually going to be this upright stone. Uh, so we're going to add a couple of these, and then I need three more uh, that we will be able to do. So I'm going to avoid this live rubble. Uh, we're going to do that with small rock with kelp have a small little there we go so i think for my first playthrough of mega aquarium versus this playthrough i feel like i'm more organized as i i more from i'm familiar with the game uh, by no means an expert uh, as I, I learned a lot with going through um, oh I was going to do messages uh, we got a lot of leveling up autopsy report lack of vegetation um, did I it was I think it was that tank and then I okay he did not do too well all right the pipe fish has grown um all right this one so I have an empty tank over there um this one do I have a plate coral is it fully grown I believe it is so we can come over here and we can grab a plate coral and we can put it there and then we have three bonnet head sharks um, that we will be able to put somewhere as soon as I can figure out where I want to put them um, and actually I've got an idea um, so, but first, we're going to come over here. I don't have any workers available. Uh, we're going to increase uh, 
our workers. I found that I kind of like doing this here, although this is a number instead of a instead of a bar. I do like this because one of the things with the message box is I can be ready to click and actually go to click it and suddenly I've got a new message, it pops up and I inadvertently click on something I didn't mean to. So we're going to really quickly, I want to look and see how much space do I need. I need 180 for the thing and they're going to grow to 30. So what I'm thinking I might do um, after I get these guys in we're going to part of me really wants to have some octopi but i know that those are insane to keep um though i also feel like see i i got some i got some dolphins in the Ooh, there's a thresher um i love threshers um, I think Threshers are one of my favorite. That's where is the, the Goliath Grouper. Um, King Angel Fish is a bully. Yes, he's a King Angel Fish is a bully. Um, we are going to... What is this? 108. Go to 18. Uh, I think he's still just a little too small for that, for for this guy's tank. Um, animals 1 through 8, so I have to be careful about who I put some of these guys with. Uh, we could do... Uh, but they need 132. When they're all they're active swimmer, I'm looking to see if there's any of them that are big enough that I could give the hammerhead a friend, and I don't think that that's going to happen. Uh, but this guy is speaking to me that he might go well with. Um, He's gonna eat animals, anthropods. I th starfish scavenger. As much as I'd like to put him in, I think he's gonna be a hassle. Um, so let's do. Game has to think for a moment. There we go. Um, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to get the raccoon butterfly fish. All right. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and I am going to... have a bit of some space. All right, so we're going to do ship in a bottle. All right. So let's have where we're going to have at. Uh, we're going to, that's not what I was clicking. Um,
All right, so we are going to take this and move this over. Um, actually, I don't need that. Okay. Um, I am showing that they are not having an issue with that. Um, so that is good. I would like to have this not be like wall to wall. Uh, having everything daisy chained together. This one actually now they, yeah, they are needing some heat. Um, we are going to move. We're going to move this so that it's like that. We're going to move these over. And then we're going to add a large pump, 19 of these suckers, right here. And then we're going to add a mega heater and another mega heater. Um, that should hopefully take care of it because that was what there was before. Um, I'm going to need to add more to that because what I'm going to do is we're going to add a Chicago tank. And we're going to move it to right there. Uh, which will give... When we open this up, we're going to have that room. So it'll be come out here and then we'll be able to have three paths. So it'll actually come through uh, quite well. We are going to add a doorway right there uh, because we are going to add our walls right there. Um, then we're going to scroll out a little bit so we can move around a little faster. And then we're going to draw our lines. Now, what we're going to add in here is we are going to add our bonnet head sharks. And we're going to pause it so we can one, two, three, because uh, they need heat. And everything else so this one I know uh, has ample room for tanks uh, yeah so it hits um, give it just a little bit uh, so we do need some more heat which means we're gonna need to come down here and one of the things we're going to do is we're going to also, I'm going to delete these two uh, because I believe I got the mega double reactor. So we're going to have one, two, so that's extra filtration. Uh, and then down here. We're going to actually delete that one. Um, I'm not worried about it because we'll add these back in if I need to. Do one, two. That looks like that is enough. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this over here. Uh, person got stuck back here. Don't know why. Um, and then just to make sure that we didn't mess up with having 
that filter, we're going to put an extra filter right there. Um, so we are going... to maneuver. All right. So now we need supplements and crabs. Um, so we are going to put in there's crabs and then we're going to put in our supplements um, and I'm going to really quickly uh, move these around a um, little bit with my OCD then that way they are by height okay so now and here is there anything that they need they just need that they they're they've got their three um, they're not one of the shoulders that they wanted, but they're the shoulders that they got. Uh, they're also going to eat any animals under 12. Um, and they will grow up to be 30. So before we open this up to anybody, and I think I actually want to, as much as I would love to have this back area open, I think I honestly just want to close it off because that's just, that is frankly going to just be a nightmare keeping it um, closed off like that. But we can close that off so that the guests won't be able to view the back room. Um, but with that, we're going to add... We'll add a decoration of uh, maybe a rocky overhang with some kelp. We can have a pirate treasure and a barrel and we can do uh, some shells and one more thing Let's see what we do we could have a um, an anchor and then to add this we're going to add some padded benches so people can sit um, we're going to do right here and here because we're going to actually shore this up just a little bit. Um, and then we can... Uh, we can open this up. We're going to... Add a door right there. Um, and then while we're there, we're going to... Open and we can delete those so people can now start to walk in through this uh, we are going to need to have some toilets back here but for right now we're going to focus on putting uh, some trash cans in uh, so that that way People will not use the floor, hopefully, as um, this is the bonehead chart looks stressed. Why? Why does it look stressed? Because it it's being fed right as you speak. So 
They're they're getting fed. Um, so how are the sharks looking? They're looking, but they're they're getting. Uh, and I did set it as a high priority. Uh, here is the raccoon butterfly fish. And we're going to get uh, Morsh Idol. Um, I believe we have the purple queen. I believe is in here not an aquarium which ones do i have here's the purple queen so i need five of these one two three four five um and then we need for this one we need more rocks uh but we need a live I want to almost call it amethyst. Um, and actually, I've got one right over there, so I don't even need a new one. We are going to add some more rocks, though. Um, this is the one that had the kelp forest. So we're going to come back over here. And look and see what kind of rocks we can add. Um, I'm not going to avoid the moss ones. Uh, we need... How many more? Uh, nine more. So the volcano would be enough. Live rubble would be awesome, but I'm not going to do that. So we can add this one. I know they're throwing a fit because I don't have enough. I don't have enough rocks for them. That is plenty. Uh, loneliness. Uh, purple. Why? All right, where is Purple Queen Amethyst? There. Uh, we're going to add an extra one. Uh, we're going to do UV Sterilizer. So that looks like that is good. We can actually do a bit of a um, bit of a different color here. Uh, just to signify that it's a different that you're walking into that different area. There we go. So that will kind of distinguish that. I really don't do the walls too much, uh, but that's that's okay. Um, so when I do get the, although I think it's actually the live feeder. Um, so one of the things I want to do is I've got several people that are leveling up um, we're going to look at some of my people fixing fixing I've got a lot of people that are just the fixing Um, okay, so we have feeding Okay, so with Benny we are going to um, Benny can do the whole gift shop 
but I'm currently allowed to use the Yeah, I really want I really want some of these people to just focus on because I've got several that I've got several fish that are high level but they're all spread out so that makes it why do you keep okay why is okay so I've gotten that one eaten by Emperor Snapper okay that's on me uh, what, el what else do you have that you can do? You have a natural talent for talking. For fixing and talking. So let's start you off on some talking. Um, okay. So what we're going to do then is we are going to... Um, I need to see what... The... Um, that'd be good for that. Okay, so really quickly. Okay, so those things are not good. How much? One through four. Okay. So we're just going to one, one, three, four. I'm just going to grab y'all. Um, okay. Who do I have that has some space that is not likely to kill my fish? Uh, we might be able to fit them here. One, two, four. And then we can just add a fifth one. Of course, you need rocks. Of course you need rocks. Why would I ever think that this would be simple? Uh, so we're going to go down. We're going to use those. Um, where are they? I am not seeing the ones that I normally do that have... Hold on, let me. So see the pitted overhang. Those are for terrariums. This is all terrarium stuff, so that's not gonna do me any good. Over here. Um So we're looking at where I had, yeah, I know they look stressed. Um, I had some stuff that I was using. I bet that's why everything that needed rocks, because I was using those to get a whole bunch of rocks, and now they are... Yeah, I had some rock coral things and yeah, they're right over here that there was rocks, there was ones with grass, and then there was one that had coral, and one that was just rocks, and they had flat surface and huge amounts, and they are gone. Um, so I don't know what happened to them. But I need 15 rocks. And we are 
going to have to find... Uh, I think I... Yeah, I think I do have enough space that I can... Uh, I need... Not the Not an Aquarium. So we're going... We're scrolling down. Uh, I have that one, but I really kind of liked those rocks. We will do the... Pitted, although I think that is... That's cave. That's not... That's not rock, so that doesn't do us any good. I need 15 rocks. Um, and we're going to... Do one and two. And I'm short one. Um, small rocks. There. Uh, w with that, that should... There we go. Uh, with that, we are going to call the session. Uh, ran a little long, uh, but uh, we got our bonnet head sharks in and fixed some issues. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to call that an episode, and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.